Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Crews here checking in with... And... Give me a break, man. We're here with Victor, give me a break, man. A local YouTuber here in Nagoya. And with Toon-chan. And today we're going to be doing another bike shop tour here in Nagoya, Japan. This is Kamihagi Cycle. One of their other branches here down by Nagoya Station. It is a beautiful location right here. You can see we've got all the winter Christmas lights out here outside and the shop is just as beautiful inside. So we've gotten a lot of requests to film more bike shop videos and this is one of their brand new locations. You can see we've got all the bikes out on display out here outside. Absolute stunning display. And we're gonna go on inside, check out all the bikes here. We're actually here with Victor today because he wants to get a new bicycle. Yes, I need your advice. Yes, he needs some advice. I am the designated bicycle expert here in Nagoya. So we're here looking for a new bike for our Victor. So let's go on inside. Let's go. Let's go. Tung is really excited today. <laughs> we're gonna be getting some food after today's video. But anyway, this is the shop. We're in this nice little shopping area here. We've got all the Christmas lights on display right now. We've got some demo bikes outside here as well. This is the bike parking. This is where we parked our bikes and this is actually Victor's bike. This is his regular commuting bike. You've had this for how long? 20 years. 20 years. It's a great bike, but I've had it for a long time. I want something new. Yeah, it's time for something new. Time for a shiny new bike. And these are our mountain bikes here behind Victor's bike. We rode over here together. They've got a couple other demo bikes here as well. Let's check out what demo bikes they have here. So this says Shijo Dekimasu. Shijo means test ride. So it's a test bike. And it looks like we got a, an e-bike here, a Bezv e-bike, another Bezv e-bike. E-bikes are crazy popular now. And oh, these are the, the Trek hybrid bikes. So this is kind of, yeah. this is what you're thinking about, right? I think this one, this is the one I want. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so Victor's looking for a new cross bike, a new kind of hybrid bike. So the Trek FX, he said he really liked Trek bikes. Yes. So that's what he's thinking. He's jumping ship from the specialized train. Yeah, I was never really a specialized guy. I always no. Really a Trek, but I couldn't afford them because they were super expensive ones. Yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day. You're a Trek guy at heart though. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at some of the Trek hybrid bikes while we're in here. Anyway, let's go on inside and go check it out. Harimashou. So first things first, we got to sanitize our hands. You have to say, Irashayamase. 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 So Tung is the sanitization master. So first things here, we got the mountain bike, the Trek mountain bike on display. We really like this color. This is the Trek Marlin 7. And you guys said you want to see the prices. So here we go. I'll try and include as much as I can. We've got a, a Kona here. That's pretty cool to see. I don't see too many Kona bikes in the shops here. Mm -hmm. This looks like a, a city bike with some nice fat city tires on here. This is a DEW. Before I get to and focus on these bikes, let's do a quick little pan shot of the shop in here. This is a premium kind of display shop. They have all their bikes here on a really nice premium display. And I really like the lights up at the top. So Victor actually pointed this out to me. I didn't notice it when I first came here, but Check that out. That's actually designed kind of like a bike spoke and the hubs on the wheel. That's really cool design. And we've got the reflection on the window because it's, it's pitch black outside right now. It's really dark here early, but beautiful showroom here and a whole bunch of cool bikes on display. There's so many cool things in here and I'm really excited to show you guys. So speaking of Kamihagi Cycle, they're actually a local chain here in the Nagoya region. And we filmed a couple videos at their other locations and they're just as cool as here. So if you haven't checked those out, go check out our other videos. But over here, this is the mini velo corner. So we've got some turn bikes here. This is the turn uh, surge, I believe. Yeah, this is really cool. It's got the sort of arrow blade kind of tubes. And I was never really a mini velo guy before, but they're starting to appeal to me now. And a, a lot of you guys seem to really like them in the comments. There's an interesting one up there with some mountain bike tires. What else do we have? We've got some Brunos. Brunos are really popular here in Japan and yellow bike, always love a yellow bike. That's a pretty cool logo. Is that the Bruno logo? Are they all like that? It's kind of like this weird goat. <laughs> That's my first time seeing that, or actually looking at these up close. That's pretty funny. Uh, still on rim brakes though, but a nice rack on the back. We've got some example. <laughs> luggage back here, some water bottles, some flowers, 
and some nice fruits. What is that? Some fake tomatoes and uh, cherries, banana. So we've got some more Bruno bikes, some other displays. This one has the, the front rack on there. So different customization options. They have some different accessories. We've got our Brooks saddles. You can never go wrong with the Brooks saddle. And are these Brooks helmets? They make helmets too. That's pretty cool. And over here, we've got some more city bikes. Let's check this out. So this is a high rise kind of city bike. I don't think this would be good for Victor. It's a little bit too upright. I think he still wants to go a little bit faster, but I've seen this bike before at the other Kamihagi branch and it looks really cool, but I wouldn't want to be riding this all day. And Victor was also asking like, what are gravel bikes? Yeah, so I've never heard of them before. I talk about these things. <laughs> I talk about these things on my channel, assuming that like everyone knows it, but this might be new information for some people, but gravel bikes or cyclocross bikes are basically like a mix between road bikes and mountain bikes where they have the same kind of tires, they have the tread as a mountain bike, but they have the same kind of appearance as a, a road bike. So uh, some of the advantages are they're lighter than a mountain bike, so you can travel further on more variety of roads and it's more comfortable than a regular road bike, but uh, you don't have the same like heavy weight as a mountain bike and you have the the same drop handlebars if you prefer those compared to mountain bike, but gravel bikes are really popular right now. I'm still a mountain bike guy at heart though, but it's cool to see more people out riding dirt trails and dirt roads and that kind of stuff and doing adventure rides. Over here we've got the, what is this? This is the, the single speed corner. So we've got, oh, here, here's a Fuji. I got some requests that you guys wanted to see some more Fuji bikes. So this is kind of a, a track bike, but the track bikes here in Japan, it's actually illegal to sell these without brakes. So they have to come installed with brakes. Otherwise you can't sell it in the shop. So that's a, a strange rule that they have here in Japan. So a lot of people <laughs> uh, do ride brakeless here, but they have to take the brakes off after they buy it. But the shop can't legally uh, sell the bike without the brakes. Otherwise there's liability. Is it illegal to ride with no brakes? Yes. If you're riding without brakes, the police will catch you and fine you pretty heftily. Oh really? How much? I don't know exactly, but I think at least uh, three man. Jesus. At least, wow. Wow. yeah. Fortunately, I don't do that. <laughs> this one looks really nice, but it's also pretty cheap. I'm surprised, only 59,000. Yeah, with the single speed bikes, there's no extra gears. You're not really paying for those extra parts. No. It's just a minimal setup. I like it, it's so simple looking. Yeah, it's simple and they don't break down. So single speeds are a great option for commuters. But oh. if you're going over hills, uh, <laughs> you're not gonna have any other gears to work oh, with. Oh, right. There's quite a lot of hills here riding in the cities in Japan and lots of bumps and stuff. So uh, single speeds aren't for everyone, but I like the single speed just cause it's low maintenance. And uh, yeah, they're really cheap, they're really durable. Mm. So let me know what is your commuting bike of choice? Do you like hybrid bikes? Do you like single speeds? Do you like mountain bikes, road bikes? What are you commuting on? What do you think is a good option for Victor? And looking back over here, we've got a couple more single speed options. So quite a few of those here, different variety, some with some drop bar handlebars, all around the same kind of price range. These are about 500 to $700. And we've got some flat bar options as well. Here we go. These are all Fuji bikes. Fuji, Fuji, Fuji. And I skipped over here when we first came in here. This is the, the folding bike corner. <laughs> so we missed this. A lot of you guys have commented saying Dahon bikes are really great, really durable, really solid bikes. I definitely want to try test riding one of these one day, but I don't think they have a test bike here, unfortunately. We've got another green one folded here. I like this green color, that's really cool. And this has the standard drop handlebars. That's nifty. We got some cool jerseys here and I love the customization and all the unique little design things in the shop here. You can see this is a map of Japan here, different areas. So this is the area that we live. This is Nagoya. And you can see they've got some stickers here. This is where all their different Kamihagi branches are. So this is kind of a chain store, but it's only in the Nagoya region in central Japan. So they have, what is this? One, two, three, four. I think they have four or five different branches. And we just, this is the one that we're at today. This is the Sasashima. We also, they have another one at Meijo Park here in Nagoya. So they actually have two here now. And we went to one over there in Komaki the other day. So check out some of our other tour videos if you haven't seen those yet. Let's go over here. Tunchan wants to show something over here. So this is the second big showroom area here. Oh, Takaiji Tenshin no Tokoro ni kitta ni. Yeah, she always has her eye on the expensive, nice bikes. So this is the road bike area. We've got awesome, nice premium 
Trek road bikes here. This is the Trek Imanda. This is a bike that we test rode together uh, earlier this summer. She fell in love with it. Really great premium top race bike here from Trek. Tung Chan always has her eye on the nice things. <laughs> so I asked Tung which one she thinks is her favorite bike in the showroom, and she says the ones up at the top, the red Pinarellos. Uh, she can't decide whether it's the one on the left or the one on the right, so you guys vote in the comments. Left? Yes. Uh, <laughs> she just goes after the price. She looks at which one's more expensive and then she chooses it. <laughs> okay, so she vote for the left one, but let me know in the comments. The left Pinarello or the right Pinarello, which one would you choose and why? But yeah, I'd have to agree. I think the, the one on the left looks a little cooler. Let's keep looking around here though. So we've got a, a cool wall here of some different cycling hats. Let's take a look and see what designs we've got. So any cool designs in here, guys? And we've got another nice deep red Trek Imanda right here as well. And this one's actually a test bike, so we can test ride this if we want to. We already rode a Imanda earlier this year, so I don't know if I want to let Tuan Chan ride that again. She might fall even more in love. We've got some more Trek bikes over here as well. So what do we got here? We've got, oh, we've got some Trek jerseys and we've got a Spartacus shirt. That's pretty cool. This one's in Japanese. I know you guys love seeing the, the localized like Japanese custom version. So here we've got a Fabian Cancellara shirt in Japanese. That's really cool. And it's written in the Japanese characters. And what do we got here? This is a Trek Imanda ALR5 disc. Oh, there's a cool frame back here as well. Yellow and pink. Sorry, Playboy no jitenchi. Jansei no Playboy <laughs> so this is another common question I've gotten on these bike shop tour videos here in Japan is why are a lot of the bikes labeled as sold? Like why don't they just take the bikes home with them when they buy them? And I don't know, it's some weird thing in Japan here where people like to have the bike sort of tuned up before they pick it up. Oh, really? so, so yeah, they pay for it and then they'll leave it to the bike shop for like a week. They'll tune it up, like make it all nice. I want it today. Yeah, that's a very American Get way home. of thinking. I want it now. Yeah, I want, it, I want to ride it home. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. So I'm not sure exactly. So we'll see how it happens. Um, do you have the money? Are you ready to buy a bike and ride home today? I'm ready. Okay, so we'll see, we'll see what happens today when Victor tries to buy his bike. Uh, Victor's not buying a road bike though, so we got to move back to the other section. But we got some more Pinarellos here. This is the Raza. Nice Italian brand. It's kind of dirty, huh? What's that? Uh, this might be a customer bike. Yeah, this is probably in for repairs. They're okay. just getting the they're just oh, getting the handlebars. It's oh, not a shop bike. Oh. We've got some more specialized bikes here. This is a specialized Diverge E5. Nice budget bike here. And these are some massive tires. Is this a gravel bike? And we've got a cool Project One frame here as well. Trek Factory Racing. And I guess our Factory One bikes are they still made in Wisconsin or are they? They're just, it just says assembled in the United States now. So maybe the frames aren't made there anymore. Let me know if you know. I remember the, the old school top level check frames used to be all made in America, but maybe they're not made there anymore. This is a Gente Jaji. This means limited edition Jersey. So this says Nagoya is famous for its local dish with an eel. We made a cycle kit associated with an eel. <laughs> so this is an eel inspired cycling kit. That's pretty interesting. Check that out. Let's take a look at the backside as well. And let's take a quick look at some of the last few Pinarello bikes before we head back to the other section of the shop. We've got another nice red Pinarello here. This is a Paris 105 mix, 11 speed. We've also got a Pinarello Dogma. This is an F10 My Way. And this section also has the same light up there the same wheel hub inspired light. That is so cool. I really like that design. Let's keep moving. It looks like they have a section upstairs as well, but I think that's closed to customers. That must just be for like storing the extra bikes. And what is this section? This looks like a, a sort of training room or mirror so you can check yourself on the bike. Maybe it's for checking your position, testing out some of the bikes. 
Well, maybe this is it. This says Punkshuri, and this is for a class. So they have a class teaching you how to repair flats. So this must be for their sort of class area for teaching how to do basic mechanic skills. So if you want to learn that stuff, you can come here and do that. So let's make our way back to the front section here. And there's a few more bikes just all hidden around in little corners. So we've got another turn here. We've got some more helmets and we've got the, the Christmas decorations everywhere. Tung and Victor are looking at accessories. And we've also got a kicker bike here, a Wahoo kicker bike. This is always really cool to see in person. I saw this for the first time at Eurobike last year and I haven't seen any in person since then, but this looks awesome. I'd love to have a setup like this for Zwift. I've recently started riding Zwift again, guys, so make sure to follow me on Zwift if you're riding Zwift now. We've got some more water bottles here. What kind of water bottles have we got? Nice variety. Some different team bottles. And these small styles, these seem to be really popular now. I'm a really big fan of the big bottles like this. I like to carry as much as I possibly can. And what is this? This is a fitting room. This is a New Jersey. I haven't seen this one. They've got some cool custom jerseys here from Kamihagi. This has the, is that the Italian flag? Kamihagi cycle. Very cool. The guy who runs these shops, the owner, he has some really good design sense. And let's continue on over here. So here we've got our accessory corner. Let's see what we got. We got some bottle cages here, some Bontrager stuff. So Bontrager is what I grew up on. My first racing team back in the US, I was on a Trek team, actually a Gary Fisher mountain bike team. And then I switched to a Trek road team. So I've always been, <laughs> when I was younger, I was using a lot of Bontrager stuff. So that's really cool to see here in Japan now. It wasn't popular here a few years ago, but now it's starting to really catch on and get really popular here. We've got some more wear here. What do we got? We got a sky jersey. And we've got some more Kamihagi cycle jerseys here as well. So ride with us. So each Kamihagi shop that we've been to so far has, has different jerseys. So even though these shops are all really close by to each other in the Nagoya area, they've got different themes, different designs, and a different style. So even though you're going to like the same shop, it's a completely different shop. They have different stuff. And we've got some nice helmets here. Very nice. I've heard some good feedback from you guys about these kind of like wave style helmets. What are these? The, the Spectre wave helmets. You guys seem to really like them. And yeah, they've got a unique kind of style to them. We've got some more shoes here. What do we got? We've got Bondrager shoes, Physique shoes, lots of different options. And we've got our cleats down here. What cleats are you rocking? Are you a Shimano guy, look guy, speed play guy, or mountain bike guy? We've got some more shoes over here. These are some Giro shoes. I guess the lace shoes are pretty popular now. Then we've got our cycle computers. We've got some Garmin stuff and mostly Garmin stuff here. Yeah, we got the Garmin watches. We've got this Garmin computers. Yeah, this is a Garmin corner. And we got a little bit of Wahoo. We got a, <laughs> a Wahoo heart rate monitor, but I don't see any Wahoo computers here. That's interesting. They just got the one. We got our sunglasses here, some Oakleys and some extra accessories. I'll try to do another full shot here just to show you guys. There's, there's so much stuff in here. It's really hard to show everything. We've got some wheels up here and we've got some more tires over here, some fenders over here. Fenders are always important if you're bike commuting. So I'm sure Victor will be picking up a pair of those for his new bike. And we've got some pumps here, some other accessories. One of the last main sections here is going to be the kids bike corner. So we've got some little kids trek bikes here and then we got some balance bikes. These are from Cannondale oh, cool. Trek. Only one fork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Cannondale style, they got the lefty fork. So that, I just noticed that as well. On the kid's bike, they got the lefty. That's really funny. What is the point of having a bicycle without pedals for a kid? Just to teach them balance? Yeah, I think that's why. They're called balance bikes. Are they um, popular in the States too? Yeah, I've never saw them in the States. I've only seen them in Japan. Yeah, yeah they're really popular here in Japan. Yeah. Um, but let us know where you're watching from. Are balance bikes popular? Where you are. Uh, we don't have kids yet, so 
Uh, but it sounds like these are really popular here in Japan. And I'm curious, what benefits do they have for kids other than just improving their balance? Or I guess they can get on a bike at an earlier age and build that confidence. My daughter has one, but she prefers using my son's with the pedals. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and this is another cool thing I'm just noticing now. We've got a, a bike carrier here. I never see these in Japan. Like, I see them a lot. Really? Yeah, and always foreigners are... are, are it's always them? foreigners? Yeah, I've seen three of them. Yeah, because in America, these are really common. Yeah. But I guess they're starting to catch on here in Japan. I see like a Brazilian couple and then a, a Western mm. couple. Yeah, Victor actually, he lives here in the city, like in the center of the city of Nagoya. So he sees a lot more than I see. Yeah, I've seen, well, maybe, maybe I've seen at least two different families, maybe three. Yeah. I live more on the countryside, like the outskirts, the, the suburbs kind of area. So you get a lot more action and cool things in here. I've noticed a lot of the, the like shipping companies like Sagawa, they have like carriers like yeah. this and they're carrying all the, yeah. the mail. A little bit bigger than this one. Though. Yeah, bigger than this, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the city now. And it's cool to see these starting to get popular here in Japan now as well. But anyway, I think it's time for us to make a choice. So of all the bikes that you've seen so far in here, is there any that are catching your eyes? I like this one, but it's not what I, I came to buy. It's a, it's a mountain bike. <laughs> you like what this you mountain bike? This it's beautiful. It's not too expensive, 84000 No, it's a decent price. Yeah. And it's I very think, light. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you're just going for general riding, I think this would be really good. Can't really, can you put a backpack on the back? Can you put a... Um, yeah, yeah. This has a rear rack adapter. You could do it. Yeah. Oh, that, that one seems a lot bigger and taller. And I don't know. The one over here? Yeah. So this is the one that Victor has his eyes on. Yeah. This is the... Well, I've reserved it. Reserved it. <laughs> oh my god, it is reserved. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You so like this that? is the bike that Victor's looking at. This is the Trek FX2. FX2. And this is an extra large beast of a bike. Apparently so, all the mediums and larges are sold out in Japan. Yeah, yeah. He says I'm lucky. The they stock is getting low. They have X FX3s, but they don't have my size. Ah. Um, large, I guess. Yeah. Which one's the highest level? The, this, this one the three think. is the highest? Yeah. But it's white. Oh. I don't really want white anyway. But. Yeah, yeah. White bikes get dirty. So black bikes are great. So how much is this bike? Around how much? 66,000. 66,000? The lowest level is 55,000. And the highest yeah. level is 82,000. So it's right between. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one has the, the brake and the shifter grouped together. And then the, the one that you're looking at, they're separated. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, yeah, they are. You're right. And yeah, this bike looks solid for commuting. You've got the mount here, so you can adapt the front rack if you want, and you can put the rear rack on it. And, and I guess fenders. You said in your video that I should get fenders. You, you yes. Fenders, for fenders are number one. Okay. Yeah, but check out, check out this massive space here on yeah. this XL bike. This is just huge. <laughs> you don't see many XL bikes here in Japan. No, you don't. So yeah, I think you are lucky that they have this in stock. Yeah, they have two. But, um... Yeah. Oh, this one's also an XL? Yeah. Oh, so which one? We go for the cheaper, the cheaper gray option. I like the black. Or the slightly more expensive more black charcoal, option. I like, the, I like the, the finish on this. Yeah, I like so, that color too. Not so shiny. I think just for the color difference alone, <laughs> it's worth it. I know it's, it's shallow, but yeah. It's the, same, yeah. it's the same frame. It's just the shifters are a little different. That one's Altus. The other one is Acera. Hmm. Yeah. The slightly better parts on it. Yep. Um, I think you made a good choice. I think that's the, the one to go with. All right, guys, we're going to finish up this video here because it's getting a little bit long. But I think Victor has made up his mind. Yes. And we're gonna go and move forward and purchase the bike. We're gonna continue on this in a separate video. So be sure to check out the video on Victor's channel. I'll link that up above, <laughs> up here. Go check out his channel, the second video coming up soon. So be sure to I'm subscribe hungry. and stay tuned. We gotta hurry up, finish this video. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hurry up, finish up filming here. And thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for some more upcoming videos. We'll see you next time here on Tivo Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.